Well, hello, my friendly shoppers, and welcome back. This is Gina, and this is my shopping life. I hope you're having a great weekend so far. And everyone, thank you so much for coming along to Trader Joe's with me. We're going to go over some of the new items, and I'm always so grateful for your support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It's a small gesture, but it helps out my channel so much. And let's continue on with springtime flowers. This is my favorite time of year at Trader Joe's. Between now and June, they always have such gorgeous flowers. The Mini Mom for $5.99, that is super adorable. The Hyacinth Wood Box for $10.99, those will bloom probably in another week. We have the Daffodils for $6.99. We have some more of the bulb plants over here. Oh, those are just so pretty. How much are those? $8.99. I always love checking out this area. Now these little mini orange stars for $4.99, I'm definitely going to grab one of those because they are so cute and just perfect. And now I did pick up this one, $11.99. Mine have fully bloomed. It's so pretty. I really do like that one. And the lilies, oh, these are absolutely gorgeous. What else we have over here? Oh, just so many beautiful plants. Here are more of the orange stars. I just love these. I think they're so pretty, but they're all really gorgeous. See, there's my little one. <laughs> so of course, tomorrow is Easter and they have a lot for Easter. We have the spring gummies right here for $3.49. That's a good size package. And I haven't tried those yet. Now, the dark chocolate almonds, these are $3.99. I'm surprised I didn't see these last week. But that's okay. They are here now. The peas and carrots for $1.29. Those have been here for a while. And of course, they're gourmet jelly beans for $4.99. And then we have the Springle Jangle for $3.99. I did try this last year or the year before. This comes back every year, but this is a fun little mixture. And, you know, you can pour it out for your guests or just keep it for yourself. But the bag is resealable, so that's a plus. So you get a little bit of a sweet tooth. You could just grab, you know, just a few little pieces. The freeze-dried fig slices are here. Those are $3.99, and they're unsweetened as well. Now, this is one of my favorites, the Country Peach, $4.79. I like this one because I actually mix this with my iced tea. So I get a perfect peach iced tea, or you could drink it on its own if you want to. The bananas, yes, the bananas have increased their prices, or Trader Joe's has increased the price of bananas from 19 cents up to 23 cents. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about that. And the teas, so they really have a good selection of tea. We have seen this one, the Organic Darjeeling Green Tea. That's been out for a while, but this one is new, the Organic Darjeeling White Tea. So we'll try that one, but all their teas, honestly, are really good. I've had like all of them because I love drinking tea, especially in the afternoon, but those are $4.99. We have a new item here as well. Oh, the lemon juice. I like the size of bottle. Sometimes the other ones are too big, so that's a perfect size. The vanilla cookie thins. Okay, those look good. $4.50. Well, we'll definitely try those out. And of course, we are going to try a couple of items at the end of the video. And we have some crackers. No prices. Where are the prices? But those are gluten-free. The organic couscous. Now, that one is $1.99. So we have a price on that one. Oh, these sound good. Brown butter, salted caramel biscotti. Yeah, for $4.99. Oh, exciting. They have brought these back. These cherries are actually really good. There's no pits in them, but they do have the stems. $4.50. That's actually a really good price for those. And we found the lemon juice in another area. Okay, $3.29 for the bottle. That's still a good price, especially for that size of bottle. More of the freeze-dried berry medley. These are perfect for cereals or if you want those like in your oatmeal. And $3.99, but that's a good price. Oh, the seasoned corn ribs. Now, these are really good. I absolutely love these and they're fun to eat honestly i don't always see those those are 3.99 
Now their frozen fruit, they really do have a good selection of frozen fruit. And I think the prices are, are right. Now we have the raspberries, we have organic or regular. And so I like that they have those options. So you could have, you know, depending on your budget or what you prefer, organic or regular like with the strawberries and with the raspberries and again with their frozen fruit always a good selection and the cherries so i get my frozen fruit from either trader joe's or from costco it really depends on how much i need now the peaches is one i don't always see and so these are back and the peaches are yeah 2.99 and you can use these for smoothies. You can use these to make ice cream or sorbets, whatever you want to make with these. They are really good. And again, I think they're priced just right. The butter almond thins, these are good cookies. Those are $2.99. Now the butter waffle cookies, these I always have in my pantry because those are always a must have for $2.99. Oh, these are back. Well, these will sell out really quick. Now we have three of them. So we have the lemon flavored waffle cookies. We have the almond butter thins and then the almond butter thins with little strawberries, little strawberry bits in those for $4.99. Oh, the mini, the chicken tikka samosas. These are so good. Definitely going to grab some of those. And the vegetable. Yeah, both of those are really good. And we have some new Danishes. Okay, $8.99. The cinnamon twist Danish. Look at the size of this. Oh, well, we're definitely taking that home with us. So we're going to definitely try that one out because that looks good. <laughs> the blueberry and lemon hand pies are back. There are two in there for $4.50. And then the salted caramel Danish swirl. You're getting three of them for $3.99. Well, we're going to take that one home and try it out. The brown sugar cardamom buns are still here for $4.50. My husband loves those. Let's see what else we have. The cheese. Okay, they still have the Dorothy's Guarded Secrets. Wow. Last year, we saw them for one day, and that was it. So I'm glad to see these still here. The Spicy Buffalo Cheddar for $8.99. Now, this is $8.99 per pound. So some of the items are per item, and then some of them are priced per pound. So this one, yeah, a little over $4.00. I have a lot of cheese right now at home, but we will try this out next time because that sounds like it's going to be good with a nice little kick to it. They always have such a great selection of cheese. Trader Joe's, probably one of my favorite places to get cheese from. Ooh, the double cream Gouda. That actually sounds good. So this one, $5, a little over $5, and this one is about $10 per pound. Well, here is my little mini haul. And I know I don't put it in my basket fancy like some people do. I just throw it in there. <laughs> but we're going to head on home and we're going to try a couple of these items. And I am very excited about that one. So let's go check out. And here we are. We have our coffee here. Now we're going to try the brown butter, salted caramel, all the good stuff in here. Of course, here's the nutrition. And I do like the sizes of these. Oh, those just look so good. All right, let's. I always like to dip these in my coffee. That is how I eat my biscotti. But look how cute that is. Okay, let's try this out. And oh my, this is really good. It is sweet, definitely sweet, but that tastes really good. It's just a perfect little size. Okay, maybe I'll have another one. <laughs> but this is really perfect for afternoon coffee or if you want it with your tea. Now, of course, we're going to try the vanilla cookie thins. I think those are a perfect little size. And the serving size, yeah, nine of them. All right, well, let's give these a try. There are so many great ways you could have these, too. You could put a little cream on top if you want to. And you could decorate those if you want to. Yeah, those are fun. And they taste really good. And just perfect little size. You just want a little something sweet? That is a perfect little size. So I like those, especially with the coffee. And yes, you can dip them in your coffee if you want to. <laughs> so those are really good. Those are perfect little afternoon snacks. All right, we're going to now try the Cinnamon Twist Danish. We also have the Danish pastry with salted caramel custard style filling and our organic Darjeeling white tea. So let's start with the tea. I have my hot water. 
I love the packaging. So we're going to get this one going because it needs to sit in there for a couple of minutes. And look what we have here. Okay, the Danish pastry salted caramel custard style feeling. Yeah, it's funny. Both of them seem very similar. It has the aluminum pan. If you want to stick that in the oven, you can. Definitely don't stick that in the microwave. But while that is heating up, we're going to try the cinnamon twist Danish. This one also has a custard style filling in here. But look at the size of this one. And the side. Oh, it smells so good. Wow, I'm excited about that one. I just cut it like a pie. That is exactly how I am going to try it. Now, I'm just going to try it cold, not heat it up. And it is really good. It's super moist. So I'm going to try the rest. I'm going to put that in the air fryer just to heat it up just a little bit. And we're going to grab the other rolls because those should be heated up by now. But wow, that one is really, really good. So I have both of them back on my little plate. And now the difference between the two really is just this one is with cinnamon. And then the other one, the smaller one is with the salted caramel. And they smell really good. They, they pair perfectly with the tea, honestly. And I think they are just absolutely delicious. I mean, they're so moist and they heat up really well, honestly. And I am really enjoying these. So these are actually really perfect if you're having maybe, you know, a friend over for coffee or for tea or you have family over. Now, of course, the cinnamon twist Danish. I mean, that one is huge. You could serve several people with that one. And the Danish pastry, there's about three servings in that one as well. But these are all really good. They're so fun. And I hope Trader Joe's keeps these in for a while because I really am enjoying these. And let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these you know what you think of them because i would love to hear your feedback well everyone thank you so much for watching today take care and i will talk to you later